Hello everyone, my name is Rigor, and I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'm going to show you a simple and easy glow lichen farm for you and your worlds. This farm works for 1.19.73 and for Xbox, PlayStation, tablet, phone, and Nintendo Switch, and PC. And if you guys are interested, there'll be a full materials list down in the description of the video. And also there'll be a materials list in the comment section as well. It'll be a pinned comment. And if you guys enjoyed this video and it helps a lot, you can always consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you want to see more. Helps a lot. I really do appreciate it. And let's hop right into it. So today I'm gonna show you a simple and easy glow like it farm right here. Now how this farm works is you go ahead and just flip this lever right here because that activates the dispenser. Then you just go over here with your shears and go ahead and just break all the gold lichen that grows on the specific block right here. And most of it will go into the hoppers and into the chest. And you might get a few going in and chance for it. But if not, you can go ahead and just go over here and check on this and you can see you get some gold lichen coming in. And you can just throw your little extra deck into your inventory in here as well. And uh, yeah, that's basically how your farm works. Very simple and easy to get started. You can go ahead and find your spot. Just a little small spot to go ahead and build farm. It's a pretty small design, as you can see right here in this area. It's kind of just like a three by four wide. So just go ahead and find a spot for that. Once you have found your spot where you want to build this farm, go ahead and start by placing a chest right here. And then go on ahead behind here in this area. Crouch and place a hopper into the chest. Make sure the nozzle hopper is facing to the chest. That way all the items go into there. And then go on ahead and crouch again. Place a temporary block above the hopper. Then place an upside down stair right there. That way you can go ahead and access the chest. And then go on ahead over here in these areas to the right. Place a block right here and a block behind as well. Then go and break that temp block right there. Go and place a temporary block right there. Go and grab your dispenser. Place your dispenser right here. Make sure it's facing inwards towards the hopper and the blocks. Break that block if you guys want to right there. Go and place a block right here in this area. And then go on ahead and place three blocks right here. Then go on and place a block right here, a block right here. Break that block and break that block right there. Then go ahead and grab yourself your redstone torches, your repeater, your redstone, and your lever. And then go on ahead. Now you can put your lever kind of inside the block you want. You can place it here, 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 or here. Doesn't matter. I'm going to place mine right here. You guys can place it kind of on any side of the, kind of the block you want, except for under here. Then go and place your redstone torch right here on the side of this block right here. Go and place your repeater right here. Make sure the two prongs facing this way don't change the ticks. And then a piece of redstone right there. Now just go ahead and fire off the dispenser. You can hear right there. As you can see, it should go ahead and fire it off if you guys did it correctly. Then go ahead and turn it off right there in that area. Then go ahead and place a stair right here and a stair right here. Make sure you crouch and place a stair right here in the same for that block. So that you'll just access the dispenser and we'll be placing anything. And then go ahead and get your blocks. Place a block here, block here. And block here. By the way, you guys can build this farm out of kind of any block that you want. Doesn't really matter whether it be cobblestone, stone, wood. It doesn't really matter. So whatever block you want. I just use deep plate brick for my tutorials, but you guys can kind of use any kind of block that you want. After you're done with that, go on ahead and place down three slabs right here, one slab here, one slab right there, a block here if you guys want to, and then two ladders right here if you guys want to. You can only just have one ladder. But I know in some devices it might be a little harder to get the, this place right here if you have one ladder. So just see if you guys want to, you just do two, do two, and then that way you're good to go. No troubles. And then go on ahead over here and place a button right here. That way, make the glow lichen doesn't grow on there. And then go on ahead over here in this area. Go on ahead and crouch and place one piece of glow lichen on the face of the dispenser. Now make sure this says dispenser. It don't make it gives this dropper. You're gonna have to go ahead and replace it with a dispenser. Uh, you want to go ahead and do a dropper. They kind of look a little bit similar. The mouse is a little bit different. And you should be all done and good to go. Your farm should be all good to go. It should look like this. When it is done, just make sure you go ahead and place at least one piece of gold lichen right there. And then just make sure all your redstone and everything is correct. It should work if you guys did correctly. After you do with that, go ahead and throw your bone mill into the dispenser. I'm just going to throw one stack in. Now, one stack of bone mill equals one stack of gold lichen. So if you want nine stacks, you're going to have to put nine stacks in. If you want a short box, you get to get a short box bow mill to supply. And you guys go ahead and just put an add-on to this if you guys want to. If you guys want to, you can go ahead and just put an add-on to this dispenser just go ahead and hook up an extra hop a couple hoppers and a chest things like that and then you can do like a double chest filled up with bow mill and then it can run for a very long time after you're done putting your bow mill in go on ahead and test your farm out by turning it on if you guys want to you should go ahead and start firing it off 
and it should start growing the glow lichen. Now make sure you guys never break the glow lichen down here. This is very important. This glow lichen stays. It's not going to be wasting any bone meal. As you can see right there, it's not puffing out any bone meal anymore because it can't grow any more glow lichen. So it's not going to waste your bone meal. As soon as it fills up these areas, it will stop. So just leave these down here. If you break these, you farm will not be able to go ahead and work and be able to grow your glow lichen. So just make sure you go ahead and aim for this block right here, specifically this block. Just go ahead and stand back. Have shears. You can use any kind of shears you want. I recommend putting them breaking and mending on them if you guys want to AFK for a little bit. Uh, maybe efficiency if you guys want to. You can't put that, those enchantments on a shear. And then just go ahead and just go ahead and break them. Let's go ahead and break them. Stand right here. You might have a few go into your inventory, but other than that, most of them should go into the hopper and into the chest. And you should be able to get tons and tons of the lichen. As I said before, as much bone meal as you put in it is as much bone lichen you'll get for coming out. And then when you're done using the farm or you run out of bumble, just go ahead and just put the lever there. Just turn it off. And as you can see right here, we've got tons and tons of glow lichen. And it's really awesome. Simple design. I hope you guys enjoy and build this farm in your worlds. If you guys did, don't forget to consider hitting like button and subscribing if you want some more. Helps a lot. I really do appreciate it. And have an awesome day, everyone.